Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Zero number 627A. This is an aluminum threshold. This is what's called a butt-up style threshold, meaning it's going to sit right flat on the, on the ground, or the sill normally. Your door will butt up against this. Um, you know, this is really a stop uh, as well, uh, in addition to it being a gasket. Uh, you could use this in applications where you require the combination of a gasket and a stop. Um, I don't know that you'd really ever see this installed as a um, stop strip on top of an existing threshold. It's a bit wide for that, plus it has this profile. Those are generally a little bit smaller and just have a more or less rectangular shape to them. Uh, so you could use it in really either of those applications, but I think the former would be more typical. This would be very appropriate when you had uh, a very small uh, clearance from the bottom of the door to the top of the sill. This would fit right in there uh, in the sense that the door would make contact up against this. As a result of that, uh, of its overall height of a half inch, you're not going to have a lot of room there. So if, you're, you know, if your door is about a quarter inch in terms of its clearance from the bottom of the door to the sill, this might work out okay for you. Any shorter than that, it's a little bit too short of a threshold. Any longer than a quarter, maybe three-eighths, then you don't really have much room for that door to swing <laughs> very much at all. Uh, so that's the height. Uh, in terms of the width, the 627, it's about two and a quarter overall, and it's about one and 15 sixteenths worth of the aluminum extrusion itself. And that insert, uh, which is neoprene, just slides in and out there. It's gonna be, will be supplied to a little longer than it would need to be supplied, and that's so that you can trim it in the field. The 627 is representative of this profile, the shape of this extrusion. The A means that it is in the mill finish, and this can also be done in the BK for black, D for dark bronze, and then G for gold. All of that is those, the first and this, and uh, one and three and four are anodized. The black would be a likely a powder coat is how they would end up doing that, would be my guess. Um, so let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some of the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we're looking at, we are looking at. And we have some photographs here that we can take a look at as well. That's the profile with a notable feature that I'll point out to you in a moment. That's the leading edge. This flap here is nice as well. It gives you additional layers, additional surface area. That's the back side of it. Here's a notable, here's the notable area. These serrations that are here really gonna allow that to dig nice into the top of the surface. And you would want those serrations on any type of threshold like this that features that sort of movement this way, okay? Lateral movement, lateral movement. You want it to dig in to bite so that when you put the screws, you're not having this move over time. I would very much consider machine screws and lead anchors to be the appropriate anchor type for such a threshold when you have a bump up threshold. And you will see bump up and the serrations used together. At least I notice this feature from those manufacturers that I personally consider higher quality manufacturers is the bottom line. You don't want that to yield any distance from you uh, from its original installation rendering the leading edge of that ineffective. Now there is some extended description information down below. Not too much to say they show you a cut sheet, or I, I'm sorry, a cross section with that neoprene um, flap that's there. This is going to be uh, like a closed cell neoprene, which would be appropriate for weather sealing, water sealing. This is listed in the site in lots of different lengths. Pretty much everything from 2 foot to 8 foot is in the site. But be mindful, uh, don't order longer lengths just for the sake of cutting them down because the cost to ship after you get longer than three foot becomes noticeably more expensive, disproportionately more expensive compared to length. 
Um, you can have longer lengths too, 10, 12, 14, probably up to 16 foot would be my guess. Something in that range, but again, the cost uh, to ship is not insignificant on longer lengths. There is a link here to the product brochure. That will allow us to review the 627 and its sister products. So we have our 627 right here. And then other related items. About two inch wide, about three inch wide, taller. You get the picture. Now, if you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field the net length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is we'll not only cut it to length, but we'll position that first countersink at the proper distance from the end of the unit and then the proper center to center all the way down as well. There's a link here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the zero products that we sell, by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you are unsure of what solution that you need for a particular application, it would be worthwhile to spend time in this catalog because Zero has quite unique solutions. They have extrusions in here, quite frankly, that you won't find with other suppliers, uh, other manufacturers. I spoke about machine screws and lead anchors, this would be how to specify those. And they do uh, cost more money, but I would rather have a lead anchor than a plastic anchor. Okay, uh, And they don't include plastic anchors, just the, um, just the flathead sheet metal screw itself. A chart here talking about the different finishes and options when they use their suffixes on the part numbers. So I would certainly recommend scrolling through here. If you are looking for STC, sound transmission control rated material, Zero would be a very good stop uh, on your uh, path of searching for that material. They have quite an offering of that material uh, in their catalog. It's down near the end. Sound control solutions very much worthwhile. The name Zero is synonymous with leading edge uh, solutions for sound transmission control. Uh, let's see, other encyclopedic documents we would put here. We do have a technical manual here from a legion. We have the A117.1, uh, the federal guidelines for usable buildings as it pertains to public spaces. Why would we have that here? Well, thresholds are made by Zero and thresholds are govern governed by ADA. And it will tell you everything you needed to know about being compliant in a public space when it comes to thresholds. If you just did a search on your keyboard, Control F, let's say, and cycle through the document, you'll, you'll get lots of good information. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Zero has been around for, I'm not sure how many decades, three at least. Uh, would be my guess, probably more, uh, when it comes to weather stripping solutions. And again, not your garden variety material, not the material that you're going to find in a home center at all. Quite at the opposite end of that spectrum uh, is never going to be economical uh, when you are attempting to compare this against uh, economical choices. There are the screws that are included. And the reasoning is, is because the engineering behind it, uh, also the thickness of the extrusion, the uniqueness of many of their uh, solutions that are in their catalog as well. You're going to look for zero when you want high quality, high caliber material. Do plan on a factory lead time. Their material is made to order. They're a manufacturer, not a stocking distributor. We do keep a small amount of it, just the popular material. I wouldn't at this time keep a 627A. So do plan ahead. While there is a lead time with zero equipment, their material is always well worth the wait. If you have any questions on the 0627A bump up style threshold or any other zero product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.